Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 217th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. Alright, and to start off, earlier this week, Apple released iOS 8.1.2 to the general public. And no, it doesn't introduce much by the way of changes, it merely includes a remedy for a complication with ringtones when purchased on a device itself. So if you're on iOS 8.1.1, it doesn't really justify the upgrade from that firmware to 8.1.2. However, if you're on something like 8.1, definitely consider updating to 8.1.x, in this case 8.1.2, especially because Taiji release their all new untethered jailbreak, they actually updated it for support with iOS 8.1.2. In a new release, they issued Taiji version 1.2.0 mere hours after 8.1.2's release because the firmware actually doesn't include any security fixes, meaning it doesn't patch the vulnerabilities that Taiji exploited to achieve an untethered jailbreak. So now, regardless of your device's firmware, you can jailbreak on any iteration of iOS 8 up to 8.1.2, again, the latest public firmware. And as of now, I've received so many questions from viewers on whether they should update to 8.1.2. 1.2 and that does really depend based on your situation. As I previously stated, if you're on something like 8.1.1 and you're not really affected by the ringtone complication, then you don't really need to update to 8.1.2. However, if you are on 8.1, as I previously mentioned, then definitely consider updating to 8.1.2 because in addition to improving performance on the older iPhone 4S and iPad 2, iOS 8.1.1 does indeed correct some smaller bugs and complications and in turn, so does is 8.1.2. So it's extremely simple to update. In last week's episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors, I detailed an update process from a something like iOS 8.0.x or 8.1 to 8.1.1. The same thing applies for iOS 8.1.2. In fact, there's actually a simple method to install all of your current tweaks on a device that's freshly jailbroken in a one-shot method. Most jailbreakers aren't familiar with it, but inside of a package, you can actually queue it up. So what I mean by that is when you go to install anything, all you have to do is tap on install and then you can tap continue queuing at the top and then search for your other packages and then do the exact same thing until all of them are queued. From there, you can install them all in one straight shot and it's extremely simple. And actually after upgrading from 8.1.1 to 8.1.1, on my personal iPhone 6 Plus, I shot a video after installing all of the queued packages. As you can see, there's so many different process steps there from actually downloading the packages to finishing them and installing them as well as setting them up. And then after either a simple respring or reboot, depending on what the packages you actually installed require, then you will have all of your tweaks applied to your device. It actually only takes seconds to minutes depending on how fast you are and you can easily easily build a list of the tweaks that you had previously installed through the method that again I detailed in last week's episode. And also a lot of jailbreakers don't know this either, but when you create a backup of a jailbroken device through iTunes, restore from that backup and then install all of the tweaks that you had previously installed, a lot of the tweaks will actually remember the settings that you had previously established for them, such as Apex 2, which is the tweak that can create icon stacks, remembered my previous arrangement. And it's also great because if you were to go to purchase a new device today from Apple, you could jailbreak it out of the box using Taiji, even if it's on the latest public firmware, again, being 8.1.2. And the same thing applies if for whatever reason you're forced into restoring, then you will be able to jailbreak on 8.1.2. And if you happen to miss my jailbreak tutorial, like with everything else in today's video, I will have it linked to down below in the more info. And with that said, up next, I wanted to let you guys know about a really awesome website for purchasing some great tech products. They have awesome deals all of the time. It's called HH Greg with two G's at the end. That's just H H G R E G G. And I will have a link to that down below in the more info, of course. So you guys don't have to remember it. Just be sure to check there. And aside from offering some of the best deals on tech on the web, I wanted to let you guys know of a really great contest they're holding. This is the primary reason for me mentioning their website. On Tuesday, the 16th, they're going to be giving away not only eight 4K TVs, but also eight 55 inch LG curved HD TVs 
and eight 300 watt LG 2.1 channel sound bars. Again, they're going to be doing this on the 16th for eight consecutive hours. So you'll have 16 chances to win a brand new TV, eight to win a sound bar. And for those of you wondering why I'm actually promoting this giveaway, the reason is that the individual who refers the most people to enter this contest will receive a 4K TV of their own, but I'm not interested in it to actually win the 4K TV myself. If I do, I'm going to give it back to you guys, my viewers. So all you have to do on the 16th is visit the following URL. It's hhgre gg forward slash lg dash device and of course like i previously said you don't have to remember it just visit it on the 16th enter all of the required details as well as the referral code device that's just d-e-v-i-c-e -E. and once you do that you'll be eligible to enter to win one of 16 tvs one of eight sound bars and if i happen to refer the most people to their contest again i'll give away the tv to you guys my viewers which is the reason why i'm including this shout out to hh greg Com. Of course, they also have some really awesome deals on tech. So even if you don't win, be sure to check out their site. And as for a smaller giveaway on the 16th, if you use the hashtag OMLG, in addition to the link that I have listed below, then you could potentially win a $500 gift card for use on the awesome electronics that they have on their site. And now next up, I wanted to kind of loop back into Apple related news and talk about a firmware that was released by Apple this past week that was actually overlooked in the whirlwind of excitement surrounding the 8.1.2 untethered jailbreak, and that's 8.2 beta 2. It was seeded to registered iOS developers, and for those of you who don't know, 8.2 is the next major firmware release that Apple will issue alongside the forthcoming Apple Watch in quote early 2015. We have no clue when it will drop specifically, but again, 8.2 can be expected alongside the Apple Watch. It will add integration for the device into iOS 8, and for more details on the firmware, how it affects jailbreaking, whether it will set things back as well as some of the changes and how it stacks up currently against iOS 8.1.2, the latest public firmware, then just be sure to check out my recent video on iOS 8.2 beta 2. I definitely recommend it for anyone who's interested in jailbreaking who has yet to watch it. And speaking of interest in jailbreaking, if you're looking for a reason to stay jailbroken or even to jailbreak if you have yet to, then just be sure to check out my all new video that I released that includes eight top Cydia tweaks that are available for jailbroken devices running iOS 8 up to 8.1.2, the latest firmware. So if you're jailbroken, you're looking for some awesome things to install in Cydia post jailbreak, then just be sure to check out that video. It also adds on to my list of continually updated iOS tweaks available inside of Cydia, which now contains over 49 unique tweaks, not including bonus tweaks. So again, if you need something to install on your jailbroken device, be sure to check those out for complete details and to get kind of an idea of where to go from here. Again, just be sure to check down below in the more info for that. And now next up, I wanted to kind of discuss a few small things before we wrap up this week's episode. Interestingly, Apple is now accepting PayPal as a payment method for the online Apple store. Now, I found this to be really interesting, especially because after Apple Pay launched, PayPal started to bash the service exponentially. And for those of you who don't know, of course, Apple Pay is Apple's new payment processing method for the all new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, which can be used in stores on NFC based point of sale terminals. So again, that's just something that happened somewhat recently that I found to be pretty interesting. Apple is now accepting PayPal payments on the online Apple Store. And also speaking of the online Apple Store, Apple is now stocking some headphones that were previously profiled by Forbes as quote, anti-beats which is very peculiar considering Apple removed Bose from their online store in October following an exclusive contract that prohibits certain athletes from wearing Beats headphones and being seen with them on. So of course what happened with Bose was kind of more extreme than Apple now stocking the master and dynamic anti-Beats headphones in their online store, but it just goes to show that Apple is indeed open to competition even with their own products on their own website. Because of course, as I'm sure the majority of you know, they do own Beats. And also as we sort of wrap up here, Apple did release a new holiday ad titled The Song. If you have yet to and you're interested, just be sure to check it out. And now finally to conclude, I just wanted to mention Free App Life. We have been working on so many changes on this service as of late. If you have yet to check it out or if you haven't been to it recently, then just be sure to navigate to freeapplife.com. I'm also planning on doing a new dedicated video highlighting all of the recent changes and improvements to the service in the coming days. So just be sure to stay tuned to my channel for that. And if you are interested in earning free 
free paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. And if you're on iOS 8, after tapping download, press the home button, open the app, and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is actually strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, and that wraps up this video, guys, mostly addressing iOS 8.1.2, 8.2 and the new giveaway from hhgreg.com. I'm really excited. I hope we can win. Again, just be sure to use the code D-E-V-I-C-E -E on the link that's listed down below in the more info on Tuesday, December 16th. And if the channel happens to win, if we refer the most people, then of course I will give it away to you guys. An all new 4K TV. So to increase your chances to win one exponentially, just be sure to follow the procedure on the link that's listed below and include my referral code. And if you guys like this, video and you're interested in another giveaway, I'm potentially going to hold an iPhone 6 giveaway. Just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on iOS 8.1.2, whether you plan on updating which firmware you're currently on, if so, and just let me know down below in the comments or on best tech info. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release various videos covering jailbreaking, whether it's a jailbreak update or a jailbreak tutorial video like my recent guide for 8.1.2, then just be sure to like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter, add one of your circles inside of Google+, follow me on Instagram at ICUID, and subscribe to my secondary YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash ICUID. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.